Hello everyone and welcome to five days until surgery. So people have asked me what I'm doing to prepare for surgery. I'm actually going through my box of supplies, which is from my last surgery. These are the things I used on my open wounds. This Aquacel, it's a silver nitrate and it's very absorbent and it's antibacterial. And this is what I use on all open wounds. I hope I don't have to use this this time. It's only if I get an open wound. We got the box of gloves, of course. We gotta keep it sterile. So there's been a slight change in a couple of things I wanted to update you on. I was planning on having liposuction on the back of my legs in preparation of the next surgery. But you know, the more I thought about it, the less I wanted to do that. I, I kind of want to keep my recovery as minimal as possible. It was gonna be compression for two months on my bottom, and all I would have to show for it really is just more saggy legs than I had before. I feel like, you know, since I'm not having the leg surgery until 2025, I can lose any excess fat that needs to be lost um, in that amount of time. And that's kind of a you know later problem. I didn't really want to deal with that now. Also, I, I have been talking to Dr. Kababi about my rash because I would really like to avoid that. So what we're trying to figure out is if we're gonna actually put a uh, tape on the incisions or not, but he is going to try to get all of the you know surgical prep off of me as soon as possible and we're going to do our best to avoid that because it literally haunted me for six weeks last time as I was going through my videos and pictures of last year it persisted for six weeks a very itchy miserable rash so the plan is as soon as any sign of rash starts we're going to hit it with the steroids immediately and try to get it under control and keep it under control and Dr. Kababe has been super awesome and communicated with me and you know helping me out and listening to me so thank you again to Dr. Kababe and his team they're very awesome all right so we ha do have the sensitive skin tape so we're going to try to keep irritation down and I'm going to be using exclusively this very helpful if you have sensitive skin. Tons of gauze rolls. Looks like some bed pads. I've actually got a ton of puppy pads, a ton of puppy pads, so I could literally cover my entire bed with puppy pads and not have to worry about draining or leaking. Although I was told that my incisions would leak last time and they never did. Uh, I was bleeding out of my armpit pretty profusely for a while. I got those in case I need it. So this is what I was recommended to start washing with one week prior to surgery every other day and the morning of surgery, Hippoclin's antiseptic cleaner. Got the compression socks ready to go. This is my steroid cream that I was prescribed last time. I will leave that up to Dr. Kababe, but this helped quite a bit with the rash last time. I uh, got some desitin for when the wounds were open. The wound center told me to put this around the skin that was healthy to keep it healthy. So if your wounds like uh, ooze or anything, this will keep more skin from breaking down and getting more irritated by putting this around the wound when you're changing. Again, hopefully I don't have any wounds. All right, so this is what I use to clean the wound. From This is also from the wound center. It's called Vaj. Yeah, you just uh, put it on there. You let it dry. This should disinfect the wound. More compression socks. How many compression socks do I need? By the way, for those of you worried about my hair, don't worry about it. I'm I'm waiting for a couple days before surgery to go get my hair cut because I feel like I'm not going to be reaching up here very much. And you know, while it while it's still here, we're just letting it go fluffy. That's right, just all natural. <laughs> I don't know, viva sasun, very silky smooth. All right, so yeah, let's just do this now. I know it's the moment you're all been waiting for. So these are going to be gone soon. It's just kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh man, yeah, let's start doing the lotion. I gotta stop this, uh, you know, a day before. I don't want anything on your body or anything, but where I'm gonna be compressed, let's start getting that nice and moisturized. I think that made a difference as well with the rash and itching, so I wanna be prepared. I don't usually put lotion on myself, but yeah, I still am told I have very soft skin. Come feel. I, I just bought some of this, and now I'm realizing that I probably shouldn't have, because if I'm having to use this much tape, something has went terribly wrong. More Aquacel. This is what it looks like. It's like just this thin piece of paper it's priced like gold basically, but uh, it really is super absorbent. Like I left one on in the shower one time and the thing got like this big. So it can absorb any amount of moisture or ooze that your uh, wounds have while also keeping them fairly clean because of the silver nitrate has antibacterial properties. It's called Aquacel Extra, but if you uh, look on Amazon, you can get some generic silver nitrate that I think works the same. Endless amount of gauze. Here are Steri Strips, which I had to use last time. And basically what these are, little, uh, kind of band-aids that like pull your wound together if you've got an opening like i had right here that was like wide open i would put one here and like you know kind of push this together and then put the stereo strips to try to hold it together with some tension to help that heal and seal all right so this is lipo foam and this is what i use underneath my binder so you know this would kind of go like this and then i've got i've got these binders that i'm gonna use i even have an ab board from last time this was I always have this here. Won't need that this time, I don't think. But yeah, here's my binder, one of them. You know, the binder will go over that up here. I think I'm going to use that for chest compression for now. Hopefully that will not interfere too bad with my 
armpits. We'll see. We will see. I like the binder. You know, I'm used to it. I have them already. I've also got, yeah, this kind of a deal where I cut the armpits out of this because they were so irritating to me. You know, if I want to do this for chest compression, I can. Goodbye, chest hair, maybe? No? Okay. Close call. All right. So, like, you know, something like this. Um, something like this could work. You know, we're really hoping I'm not going to have a rash, but yeah, you can stick some lipofoam in here. I'll probably cut them to where they're, you know, not doubled up like this, but for now, we'll just uh, stick it in here. Then the hard part. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Bam! How you like that? That's a jack chest right there, isn't it? Y'all didn't know I was going to come out looking like... <laughs> this is compressed, you know? If I did this... See, like, as I've cut this, this is very free of where I think my scars are going to be. This is already making me itchy. Oh, God. Ah, oh, fine. All right, so maybe... A little bit of this action and then on top of that obviously there's nothing on my stomach which is kind of what i'm wanting i wouldn't mind if this was even thinner and i might be able to cut it thinner i might be just like chilling like this this is definitely providing me compression in both areas i'm taking a daily iron to prepare per dr kababe's orders i'm also enjoying some probiotic yogurt mm. no sugar added 60 calories delicious and that's for if i'm put i don't even know if i'm gonna be put on antibiotics but if i am my gut's gonna be ready and i will continue this after my surgery as well my surgery actually actually got moved up it was supposed to be at 9 a.m now it's gonna be at 7 a.m on march 6th i gotta be there at 5 30 in the morning i should be on my way home shortly after noon if everything goes well i don't know exactly what our final situation is going to be i keep the armpit skin out of my wound and this is a possibility as well yeah, that is, that is my pre-surgery update. Um, that's how I'm getting ready. I also have an array of grabbers. These things are amazing. They'll grab just about anything pretty steadily. Um, so helpful. Uh-oh. So these things are super, super useful. You can grab just about anything with them. And I got a lot of them because last time one of the worst things that could have happened was me to forget it across the room or something. So I'm going to put these all over the place. So that uh, that doesn't happen. So I'll put on something like this, and then the lipo foam, and then the binder. If I'm feeling frisky, just one of these. Put some lipo foam in here for some extra compression. Or maybe something like that. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's almost go time. <laughs> 